So you want the Reserve Bank to go out and print some more money? Uh, essentially it's around the creation of credit, it's called quantitative easing. The idea is that if um, part of the reason, uh, part of the determinant of the value of the dollar is supply and demand, you increase the supply of your currency and then you use that to deal with some specific um, economic problems that you have. The United States has used it very extensively, Britain has used it, the Bank of Japan, the European Central Banks. All our trading partners are engaged in this kind of currency. So just so that we've got it clear, you want the Reserve Bank to go out and print some new money to buy some earthquake bonds off the government. The government then would use that money to help with the Christchurch rebuild, help build the sewers and the streets and that type of thing, and also to go towards saving for our next disaster. That's right. And in, in a, a nutshell. In, in, in a nutshell. And those earthquake, because the government wouldn't be borrowing for those earthquake bonds from overseas, that reduces the pressure on the New Zealand dollar. We are the last country standing operating orthodox monetary policy. All of our trading partners have abandoned this policy except for us. And so it's easy to make money out of New Zealand. So we change the expectations in the market. Can I ask you, will Labor support this policy? Um, uh, we have spoken to Labor um, and given them a heads up about uh, what we're talking about today. Um, I'll be interested to see their response. But they haven't I... said whether they support it or not? Well, what they've said is that they'll look at what we've proposed and, and give some kind of considered feedback. I think we're all on the same page because we all read the international literature.